Hey, welcome back to another installment of Hey Yo, Captain Joe. This is where I read your emails and answer you directly. This segment is brought to you by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, and Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, the place to get fitted to fish, and by Pike Consulting Group, your OSHA safety consultants. Don't wait till it's too late to get your safety culture right. Our first email comes from Matthew, and he writes, Hey Yo, Captain Joe. I've been sitting here watching your YouTube videos all afternoon and subscribe to the channel. Thanks my friend. I absolutely love your videos and how you produce them. Thanks again. I recently quit my job back in Alabama, where I'm from, me too, to move down and pursue a career on the water. I have always loved fishing and, there had, and it has been a dream of mine ever since my granddaddy carried me many years ago down to the water, I suppose. I am new to the area and live in St. Pete, right by Clam Bayou Park. I'm looking to get started and hoping maybe you can help a newbie like me get started in the right direction with a good used boat model to go after since I'll be doing roughly the same kind of fishing you do. I also want to be able to take my wife around comfortably cruising, maybe scuba diving, do a mixture of inshore and offshore type fishing. Any help and tips you can give would greatly be appreciated. Keep up the awesome work, and I'll definitely be watching. Well, thanks for writing, Matt. I definitely appreciate your email. To help you out, to point you in the right direction, you know, you're seeing the videos that I'm doing. You see 90% of the other fishermen in the area are running a boat that's a lot like this. So there's a reason why a boat like this, like this Century 2202, is the ticket. It drafts real shallow. I can get in just over a foot of water. I can get this in and fish comfortably, no problem. Uh, I can go out across the bay, even in choppy waters, it handles it good. I can go out on the beach. I even go 10, 20 miles offshore on the right day. Well prepared, of course. But again, there's a, there's a reason why these types of boats dominate the inshore fishing market. And there's just the versatility and Really, I think it's the, the low skinny water capabilities. That's really what makes it a capable fishing machine. So you wanna make sure it's a dry ride. You wanna make sure uh, it spits the water out good. You don't get soaking wet. Uh, you wanna make sure it's stable. You don't want a boat that leans like crazy. And uh, last but not least, you want an affordable boat that has a good engine. You know, I would run a Yamaha or a Suzuki or a Honda or something like that. I'm a Yamaha fan, that's what I have on my boat. Highly recommend that. But uh, something that has a four stroke motor that has enough oomph to push your boat at least to 40 miles per hour comfortably with a full load, that's the way you wanna go. Now I also see in your other emails that you mentioned you have a $15,000 budget. Well, the truth is $15,000 is not a lot of money in the world of boats. So I would personally recommend that you save more money and get up to the $25,000, $30,000 range, then make your boat purchase. What you don't want to do, I'm telling you and everyone else watching, what you don't want to do is take that $15,000 budget, go buy a small boat, underpowered boat, that you're just saying to yourself, well, this is my starter boat, this is how I get into boating, yada, yada, yada. Don't do that. Don't do it. If you think you're really serious about getting into this inshore fishing game, then you're going to want to get a boat one time, get the right boat with the right motor, get the right setup, and you're done. Don't waste money. It's a waste of money to go get a smaller, slower, less capable boat, and then think later on that you're going to get a bigger more capable boat like this 22 or a 24 or a 25 or something like that uh, do it right the first time is my advice and that's all i got our next email comes from jacob and jacob writes hey yo captain joe i'm heading to anna maria island for christmas with my 21 foot parker and i'm curious what fish i should be targeting this time of year also if you have a recommendation for spots and rigs for certain fish i would love to hear them I'm looking mostly for snapper and maybe some drum or grouper. Thank you, and I love the YouTube videos. Huge help in doing some of my Florida research. Well, thanks for writing your email, Jacob. Christmas time, it's going to be potentially colder. We get a lot of these cold fronts coming through in waves. 
The sheep's head are starting to stack up. That bite is doing pretty good. You'll be able to catch snapper. You'll be able to catch grouper all inside Tampa Bay. Gag grouper season closes at the end of the year, last I checked, and that would be something good for you to target. So you're gonna need to go out, you're gonna need to get a bunch of chum, get a chum bag of some sort, get a bunch of uh, shrimp, get a whole bunch of uh, white bait if you can, live throw the net for them, or if you gotta go buy frozen sardines, get a couple blocks of those. Uh, you, know, you can chop them up and then put them in that chum bag a uh, little menhane oil might not uh, might not be a bad idea, but get a lot of chum, and get ready, and also that same bait, you know, that white bait, have tons of that in your live well, and you know you can have even more in a bucket. Use it for cut bait to fish on the bottom, but you're going to need an abundance of bait. Then you're going to take your Parker out there, and you go out into the middle of Tampa Bay near the shipping channel, or maybe some of the public reefs that you find listed on some of the charts, and you're going to set up there. You're going to start chumming. You want to chum during the slower parts of the tide, in between the tide changes and the early, of the, the early parts of the next tide. You're going to fish that zone so you maximize the amount of chum going into a particular fishing area. And you're going to use free lining and you're going to use lightweight bottom rig techniques to get these snapper and grouper on the hook. So I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of waypoints out there in the middle of the bay and I catch a lot of mangrove snapper, catch a lot of gag grouper and uh, it's definitely more and more popular to do this type of fishing especially with other species being closed. But if you're after snapper and grouper you can also go after the sheep's head too. That's a big reason why I said bring the shrimp. Uh, around Christmas time that'd be a good way to do it. So lightweight bottom rigs enough to hold bottom without getting swept away. Um, free lining or light lining whenever the tide is slack when you can do that that's going to be the ticket for snapper and grouper our last email in this episode comes from Rodney and Rodney writes hey yo Captain Joe quick question I'm buying myself a new spin reel for Christmas and what is the best long-lasting one well I'm gonna say that's that's a, a big opinion so I'm gonna give you my opinion the best bang for your buck is that Penn Spin Fisher. You got the fifth gen and the sixth gen. Those are great reels. Uh, a comparable might be like the Daiwa BG or something like that. Highly recommend those. They're affordable reels and they are built like trucks. So definitely check those out. Set them up uh, with a seven or seven and a half foot rod, uh, depending on what you're doing. If you're fishing, you know, trout, reds, snook, stuff like that. You know, go with a uh, medium fast type rod. That's I use a lot of those. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been using those spin fishers for years. Really great reels. Also, check out Florida Fishing Products. They're a Tampa local company. They make the Osprey series of reels. I've been using them for a couple of years, and honestly, I'm really impressed. They're very lightweight. They seem to be very durable. Drag systems are really good. I'm very pleased with the Florida Fishing Products reels. Check those out as well. If you have any fishing or boating related questions and you want to be featured on this channel, send an email to headfirstfishing at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Put Hey Yo Captain Joe in the subject line and you could be featured on another episode. Please check out our sponsors, St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, and Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, the place to get fitted to fish. And if you have a business where your employees are exposed to health and injury risks, get in touch with the Pike Consulting Group www.pikegroup.net. I'll see you later.